Hey everyone, today we're going to be discussing tips to get the best results from your Chargemaster Supreme. The Supreme was designed to be the smartest dispenser from RCBS, while still delivering best-in-class accuracy and speed. With some pointers from our decades of dispenser experience, we will help you get the best results possible. One of the first key things to remember is digital scales and dispensers are very reliable devices. With that being said, some things can cause inaccuracy that you need to be aware of. Change in temperatures. If the temperature in your reloading room fluctuates more than a few degrees, the scale will need to be recalibrated. Allow the scale to stabilize for 20 to 30 minutes to get acclimated to the new environment. Always try to keep a constant temperature while using any dispenser. Always give the scale 20 to 30 minutes to warm up before first use or if the scale has been off longer than 30 minutes. Keeping the powder pan on the platen during warm up helps allow the load cell to stabilize. Unlevel working surface. You need to ensure your Supreme is as level as possible. Use adjustable feet and the bubble level to ensure the unit is level. Uncentered weight on the platen. All pans and calibration weights should be centered on the platen. This will ensure the weight of the load cell is accurate. Be mindful of the cover and only use while dispensing if absolutely necessary. If operating outdoors or in an area where a draft is present, where you're getting measurement errors, the cover is necessary. Be sure to calibrate with the cover on, otherwise different measurement readings will result. Different values with the cover are caused due to static charge buildup in the cover. When the scale is not in use, be sure to keep the cover on as it will protect the platen and load cell. Make sure any items around the scale that could create electric interference are not close, i.e. radio, speakers, fluorescent lights, or magnets. If the scale is hit or jarred during operation, verify calibration is still correct by placing calibration weights onto platen. If displayed weight is incorrect, recalibrate and start loading again. Use only the provided calibration weights supplied for accuracy. The knob threads into the calibration weight and there is material inside the cavity to ensure calibration weights meet standards. Ensure this knob remains secured and is not removed as the internal weights could fall out, changing the actual calibration weight. Keep calibration weights as clean as possible and properly stored. If dropped or damaged, they need to be checked against a known standard. Contact customer service for help. Static electricity can cause the scale to jump around. If there is static buildup, wipe the scale with an anti-static sheet or use an anti-static spray. If using an anti-static spray, spray onto a dry clean cloth and wipe the scale reservoir, hopper, and around the platen area. Do not spray directly on the machine as it could get into the mechanisms. If powder gets inside the unit, stop operation immediately and do not use the dispenser until it has been serviced. Contact RCBS customer service. Do not press on the platen with your hand. This can damage your load cell. Only use with smokeless powder. Do not use with black powder. Always empty powder out of your unit when you're done with your loading session. Keeping the unit loaded with powder could cause the plastics to deteriorate. It is also best to keep your powder sealed in airtight containers as much as possible. Use the included brush or compressed or canned air to blow residual powder from the reservoir tube prior to storage to get all the kernels out of the unit when finished with the loading session. If you use compressed air, keep the nozzle at least 12 inches away from blowing directly on the display. Store in a clean, dust-free environment with wind slash storage cover in place. If flow rate increases causing overcharge condition, use a small nylon brush and run through the tube roughly 10 times. This will increase the friction and slow down the powder flow, reducing overcharges. This may need to be done after every 10,000 rounds. If you brush too much, the flow rate will slow even more. However, it will resume to steady state, generally within 100 dispenses. Do not use any solvent or cleaner as you do want to have some residue in the bore to reduce friction. If you follow these tips and suggestions, you'll be able to get the most accuracy out of your Chargemaster Supreme. If you would like to find out more information on the RCBS Chargemaster Supreme, visit us online at rcbs.com.